all things in this world have very simple solutions we complicate it anything you know any very complicated problem has a very simple solution but if you ask a specialist for a solution he will complicate the solution for com problem further i am going to tell you whether you and i are born to last as long as you and i can survive on this world is it clear has anybody not understood what i said right now do you think human body is made because there are doctors there are medical colleges there are tests there are operations there are surgeons like uh, my friend here and things like that no we are made to be on our own and we are born with the doctor inside this is the most important thing and this doctor is so powerful that he can correct any disease from common cold to cancer only if you keep your mind clear and ayurveda so beautifully says it samadatuh samagnischa samadoshah malakriyah prasannatma indriya manah swastha ithya vidiyate you get up in the morning and you shit well you piss well you eat well you drink well you work very hard sleep very well and then don't hate nobody you will live as long as you live i will give you an irish couplet it so beautifully says it i eat when i am hungry you know the problem with most of us is we eat when the food is ready and not when we are hungry and we eat because dr peter forces us to eat more we eat more but what does irish say eat when you are hungry drink when you are thirsty if heavens don't fall down you will certainly live till you die okay now can you try all these methods and be here forever without dying no bernard shaw beautifully wrote never try to be here forever you will certainly not succeed you understand just imagine all people born don't die there will not be even a space even to stand so death and birth are two things which are not in our con control did you understand that and you must remember one thing when we came here we came with nothing not even an underwear and when we go from here we go with nothing but in between we do so much of monkeying that we invite all diseases th lawrence wrote so beautifully our ingress into this world was naked and bare did you understand that our progress in this world is trouble but care whenever you get into trouble you say why me peter is not uh, uh, you know uh, he's see yesterday for example i was talking to a friend he's a good friend and he is a terrible egoist he thinks he is the best person under the sun he is qualified to do everything but poor man has some problem with the legs he is about 80 but he can't walk he needs two people to help him so i was telling him then he said where were you yesterday i told him i was in amdabad giving some lecture and what are you doing tomorrow you come home i said i am going to see peter in chennai what man yesterday you were in amdabad tomorrow you are in chennai but you know you are lucky because god has given you good health look at me i can't walk that is the bad attitude two he is jealous of me that i am coming to chennai and he is unfortunately depressed about his legs not being there i told him look uh, have you heard of, how many of you heard of steve hawking steve hawking yes thank you steve hawking is the professor of theoretical physics in cambridge this man had a peculiar disease when he was just 24 years old how how old he was 24 this disease even my enemy should not have it is called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis gradually one by one by one by one his muscles will become useless and our textbooks write we have this textbooks in the medical college <laughs> bullshit they write do you know what they write diagnosis of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis the man must be dead in two years time that's the disease we predict 
the unpredictable future of human beings. Nobody can predict the future of a human being. Because if I told him that he will die in two years, he may live another hundred years and attend my funeral also. Or if I told somebody that you are fine, I'll pat you on the back, you are good. Next morning I may see his photo in the Hindu's obituary column. Both are possible. Because there is no future prediction possible in this universe. Forget about man. Even whether it will rain tomorrow in Chennai or not, you can't predict correctly. That is called butterfly effect. That is, after the scientist puts all his data into the computer to say whether it rains in Chennai tomorrow or not, even if a butterfly moves its wings in Beijing in China, the disturbed air can make a storm and the whole beach can come to the Chennai Trade Center. Can you understand? The, 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 the sea can, Bay of Bengal can come here and all of us will be swept. You remember that morning when that uh, the storm came, a lot of people were walking in the beach with half pants and uh, running shoes and all. They were all taken to meet their maker in heaven. That is because this universe nobody can predict. Anyway, so, so beautifully he said. Now, coming back to what I was telling you, the third thing. Everybody has to die someday. So don't be worried about death. Lot of us kill ourselves faster by thinking about death than worrying about it. I tell my patients, why are you worried about death? You know, who, the greatest risk factor of death is, what is the greatest risk factor of death? Being born. If you don't want to die, don't get born. Having been born, don't worry about death. I tell them, it's a cue. But we Indians are very good in jumping the queue. So a lot of us jump the queue and die early. But if you wait in the queue, you will die at your turn. Supposing you die, so what? You will either go to heaven or to hell. And you are a very good man. You should go to heaven by all stretch of imagination. So that's where you are happy. Because after all, what do you live here for? Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Ultimately you want to go to heaven, no? You will go there. Supposing God's bookkeeping, St. Peter has made a mistake. Not our Peter, St. Peter made a mistake. So you end up in hell. So what? So many of your friends are there. You will be very happy there. Then either way you are happy. So why worry about death? So don't worry about death. And that's what this man says. Our progress in this world is trouble but care. Our regress from this world will be nobody knows where. If you do well here, you will do well there. Did you understand that? So our aim in life to have a contented life is to do well here.